Why, hello there from the Sway East Valley. <laughs> Actually, it's so nice right now. It's so, like, chilly, but it's just air. is so different here. Anyways, I'm just about getting ready to leave. Buzzy Beards. This is my only chance to leave. Um, because it's not snowing right now. And supposedly the snow from last night didn't stick. I was originally coming back yesterday. So, we are going to see. But I wanted to show you this. Like, look at how beautiful. Our place didn't have this fucking shit. Check this out. Look at, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see it. My son was paying the same amount for me every month. This is Arizona, you guys, about $1,700. But I was woke up, like, at all moments, because anytime somebody goes down the stairs, anytime somebody like that, I'm like, Bush! I'm going to show you, I don't know if it's open, but they even have, like, a gym here somewhere. Oh, here it is, OTC. Okay. Okay. Hopefully there's no one in there. Oh, there is someone in there. But see? It's a... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I can't. There's like a lake right there. Then there's a... Some volleyball courts down there where all the cats piss. Um, but I'm going to go down here in the stairs. I don't want to talk about the funeral, obviously. It's probably one of the hardest things of my life. I've been through some hard stuff. Just, you know, my heart. And please say prayers for my son. Um, he's doing okay. If you ever lost someone, it takes a little while, obviously. Sometimes a long while. But he's doing really good just rolling with the punches, you know. And as the feelings come, just kind of, you know, working through them. Um, I'm so grateful that I was able to get down here to support him. I'm so grateful that I was able to come down here and um, be with my other son. So I've been here for, I don't know, a couple days. Um, the first night I slept um, at my son's house that I'm at now. Then uh, the day of the funeral, I went over to um, my ex-husband's best friend's house. And... It, it, I was best friends with Marianne, and he was best friends with Dave, so we partied down so bad. Look, I'm still like, ugh, from two days ago. And uh, we shotgun beers, and hello, I'm 53, we don't shotgun beers anymore, but we drank freaking fireball shots, oh my god, but we were having such a good time, we were saying, to Jesse, oh, well, now you know his name, and we were cheersing, and shotgunning and opening and spraying all over just like old times and stuff so it was really really wonderful to be there um i was sitting there you know outside and suddenly this handsome young man comes running up to me and says aunt jean and hugs me i'm like and it was her son i'm not gonna say his name <laughs> and i was like oh my god and he was so sweet and so cool and um, when my friends went to sleep, probably around midnight, we stayed up till like two, three o'clock in the morning. We were laughing. We were having such a good time. And so I'm really, really grateful. I was able to experience that joy, you know, in the midst of a lot of stuff. <clears throat> I ha I'm kind of mixed feelings right now about leaving because I have to see a so I'm dying. But then at the same time, I'm leaving my boys only two and a half hours away. But it breaks my heart so bad. You know, I have that stupid depression thing. So it's like, oh my God, oh, I'm leaving them behind. And it's not true, you know. It's just kind of the way that I feel. So trying to talk it out with you guys right now. I'm going to go get myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to put the money that I have left in the gas tank to make sure that I get back. And they don't even know I'm coming back. So I'm not even going to send them this video. I'm just going to surprise them because they're going to say, Issa, your mom's coming, Issa, your mom's coming. And I want to surprise him too, like, oh my gosh, there's my mom. But you know what will happen as soon as he sees Harley, he does, he's not even going to care. But it's extremely gross down here. You know, the, the weather right now is nice and cold, 
you know, but I'm in shorts and stuff and people are in parkas. But it's just the air is so like thick and gross. Look at my face. Ugh. I could fry french fries on my face. <laughs> yes, but I do not miss the grind. I do not miss the grind of, you know, I might be trying to survive, you know, trying to get $100 a, you know, a week, because that's like wonderful I could survive. But to fucking work and work and work and work and pay $1,700 just to barely survive, you know, and have panic constantly. Look at this lady, can you see her? She's in a fucking huge down jacket and puffer. I'd be sweating so <laughs> How fast does your blood thicken up? You know, like I got really thick blood. Um, I'm really infected. Oh, more infected. But, I mean, honestly, I haven't been taking my antibiotics because I knew, you know, there was going to be festivities and I did not want to have antibiotics with any type of festivities. And yes, you're going to say, Jane, take care of your health and not that. But I am grateful we had great festivities. So, I'm going to go utilize the latrine. I'm gonna head all night. It's cloudy skies the whole way there, it says. There are parts where it says it's gonna rain, um, but what I know is the elevation that I'm at is a lot more elevation. So if it starts snowing there, I'm sure they'll be like, you might as well just stay because it's snowing. I'll be like, what? <laughs> I already left, what do we do? You know, and if that happens, then I'll do a video in the car and sit there in the snow until and make the next right move, I guess. I don't even know. But I'm trying my hardest just to accept the fact that. To be grateful for the fact that I've been here. Be grateful for the fact that I've been with my boys. Be grateful that I've got so many hugs from them. Because this is the first time that I've been down here that I've been down here since all this started. Grateful that um, my friend's husband is going to be coming to the East Valley every single week to um, train Harley. So... Asa's girlfriend is um, being trained as a service dog down here. So I always have that opportunity to come down and visit for the day, for a week, you know, until he comes back again. And I just have to look at all the goodness instead of, oh, I'm leaving, you know, I'm leaving, I miss my, oh, I miss my saw, and then he's right there. You know what I mean? So thank you for, thank you so much for all of your support. Thank you so much for all of your prayers. Thank you for your donations. I never would have gotten here and back like never at all like i was coming with 27 dollars, and then yesterday um some money went in so now i have enough to fill up the gas tank and go back i'm gonna probably fill it a little under because i at least want ten dollars left but um it takes a little over a half of a tank so and i'm under a half of a tank so yeah let's do this thoughts and prayers please okay i'm out of here Love to you all, and my boys, I love you all, and I'm going to miss you, kiddo.